If you are making renders for anything, sit tight. These are add-ons, not just a one-time trick, but add-ons you can use on a daily basis to accomplish your tasks in minutes instead of hours. From studio lighting setup, generators, and some Blender courses that will help you become a better artist. If you are a product designer, you are going to love Quick Studio. With this add-on, you can add an array of lights by selecting them from a collection of templates, add interesting shadows with light gobos, add a shadow catcher, add dust, and amazing reflections using their World HDRI feature. Lighting can be a daunting task, especially for beginners. Even for professionals with years of experience, having an add-on like Quick Studio can be a massive time saver. Instead of recreating lighting from scratch every time, you can simply select your favorite lighting from the templates and you're all set. Sime Bugaria, you have probably seen some of his tutorials and collections. He has released a new collection of urban buildings. This is a set of 200 plus buildings that are fully textured and well modeled. You can use them to make urban environments, post-apocalypse scenes, and more. This is not his first collection. He also has the 37 photo scanned stone objects, a pack of scanned models of walls, stone buildings, old buildings, and a collection of shops, stores, buildings, and more. Continuing to more amazing stuff, there is a new add-on called Locomotion. It is a powerful tool designed to bring dynamic, lifelike motion to your Blender projects. This versatile add-on includes seven preset systems that make it easy to animate various entities along paths and surfaces. Leveraging the power of geometry nodes, the Locomotion add-on ensures smooth, continuous animations with endless loops. Customize your animations effortlessly and bring your vision to life with realistic and dynamic motion. This can be great for creating random movement of anything from cars, people, birds, insects, and other things. If you are rendering cities, you probably need iCity. This is the most detailed Blender city generator you can buy on the market. It's not just buildings scattered on a plane. These are cities designed from the ground up, including parks, street shops, customizable to an inch. There is detail everywhere. You can edit the city, you can add your own stuff to make it look unique, and more. The next add-on we're going to talk about is Simply Stitch, which is an add-on designed to add cloth details and designs. What is amazing is that the creator of this add-on is the same creator of add-ons like Simply Cloth and Simply Cloth Designs. This is a, like a complementary add-on to those, so if you have those other add-ons, you are going to be working with a familiar workflow. What's even more amazing is that you can still use this add-on on your own models or with clothes made with other add-ons like Divine Cut, which is itself another amazing cloth generator. So let's talk about it. Divine Cut has been around for a while. This is just an update. So if you bought Divine Cut version one, you can get version two for free by just using the coupon code DIVINEUPGRADE at checkout. For those hearing about Divine Cut for the first time, this is the perfect solution for creators designing and dressing characters inside Blender. This add-on comes with all the tools you will ever need to get the job done. By job, I mean designing, making, dressing, and fitting your clothes onto your character. With just a few clicks, you can tell the add-on where you want the arms to be, the waist to be, and the add-on will generate a shirt from just that information. How amazing. Speaking of add-ons for character creation, this next add-on specializes in adding physics-controlled animation to your characters. Say you have a dragon flying. You can animate a few poses of the wings going up and down, then this add-on, Character Physics, can add secondary animation like tail swaying and more, making your animation look more realistic. This can be used to add rope physics, chain physics, cloth physics, ragdoll physics, and more. I guess this list is going to be mainly about character design tools because next, let us look at polymatting. This add-on will speed up your Ritipo Polygity task by 90%. It works like magic. This uses spatial partitioning, similar to the shrink wrap modifier to wrap a mesh around your model and just make new better topology out of it. You can use its smoothing brushes to make the new topology wrap better on your model. Our next add-on simply lets you work better in object and edit mode, and it's called Auto Constraint. Like the name suggests, the add-on locks or limits the way you work in Blender. Surprisingly, this is a good thing in 3D modeling. 
say you are placing objects in your scene, like a chair or table, you always want those things to go in specific areas, not just float in the air. This is what an auto constraint does. It will snap objects to the ground, rotate them on a specific axis to your desire, and it's even more powerful and useful in edit mode, where you always want vertices to move according to some orientation or constraint, hence the name. Check it out, I am sure you will love it. And finally, we have cloth to shape keys. This add-on can fix your cloth animations or soft body simulation by using shape keys. It does not matter how good your simulation is, whether it's from a different application like Marvelous Designer or simulated right inside Blender, your simulation will come in with some artifacts like mesh intersection issues and more. There are no easy fixes for issues like this, except re-simulating until you get what you want, but who knows how many trials you will have to make to get everything looking correct. This add-on lets you go with your first try and just fix it later. This will save you all the headaches and stress of trying to perfect your simulations. And that's it. I know these are a lot of add-ons, some quite expensive, but just remember, you don't need add-ons to use Blender. Add-ons are mostly useful when you want to get things done quicker and more easily, especially if you are working on a paid project. They can actually save you money by saving you time and producing better renders with less effort. If your budget is tight, I recommend the free add-ons from my previous video. Uh, the only downside is that there's no guarantee that the free add-ons will be updated in the future like the paid ones, but they are still useful and great.